Welcome back everyone. In this segment we have your latest gaming news as well as some of the events going on this Halloween weekend. But first, let's take a look at one of the places around Lafayette you may have overlooked in the past. Wolf Park is a site that some students may have heard of while spending time around the Lafayette area. But Fast Track's Joey Beard has the inside scoop to this little known wonder. Deep in the soybean fields of Battleground, Indiana, a national treasure lies within the confines of Wolf Park. Wolf Park is known not only around the Lafayette area, but is known as a site for international research as well. The park runs off of grants and some government funding, and boasts many seminars and visit days to come out and see the environment in which wolves live and interact. According to assistant manager Dana Drenzik, the park is something that first-time visitors will most likely never have experienced before. Wolf Park is, is extremely unique in the fact that um, a lot of things that we do here you're not going to find anywhere else. Um, the fact that we work very close with our animals, they're socialized, which means that we're able to go in the enclosures with them and work with them hands-on, um, gives them a better life in captivity, but it also helps with the education, which is part of our mission. And a lot of places, you know, you might see a wolf habitat and barely see a wolf, where we can bring the wolves up close and personal to the public, and they're able to, to be inspired and, and excited about wolves, which is what we want. Um, for the public to learn. The park is open from May 1st till November 30th and houses more than just wolves. Bison, foxes, and coyotes also call Wolf Park home and according to park manager Holly Jaycox are treated with tons of devotion from the staff. I think everyone that is here is genuinely aware of the fact that good things are happening here. We all come out here and we see the faces of the visitors. We see the people responding to, to the wolves, to our passion, and uh, it feels really good. It's really satisfying in a deep way to feel like you are making a difference. For Fast Track News, I'm Joey Beard. In this week's Pwn Purdue, Caitlin McQueen is giving us a rundown on some upcoming massively multiplayer online games. Here's her quick list. Guild Wars 2 is looking mighty impressive. The graphics remain stunning and the gameplay has done a complete overhaul. Your actions in the game create an actual impression in the environment. A great thing about its developer, ArenaNet, is that they don't charge the nasty monthly fee usually associated with MMOs. And with what you're getting, it often feels like a steal. Sci-fi games have never really held a candle to fantasy-based ones, but hopefully Star Wars The Old Republic will change all that. My favorite developer, Bioware, is creating the game. This one is still in development, so expect to see it in 2011. Somehow, some way, the LEGO-inspired video games have created a following, which prompted a LEGO Universe MMO. You'll be able to create your own LEGO person, whom you can explore many worlds and themes located in the universe. Last, and certainly least, World of Warcraft is releasing yet another expansion. Entitled Cataclysm, this one offers new races, new maps, and new level caps, plus much, much more. My apologies go out in advance to all those of significant others of any WoW player. Let's head over to Caitlin and Kara to see what is going on in the area this Halloween weekend. Here's this week's Community Calendar. Some of us may be too old to go trick-or-treating, but there are still plenty of events going on that we can take part in. That's right, here's some alternative events for people to do, of all ages to do this weekend. October 28th through October 30th, One Small Step will be performed at the Low Playhouse. It is an eccentric, funny, and surprisingly moving piece of work. There are plenty of Purdue astronauts and dozens of other characters portrayed in the work. Show starts at 7 p.m. Call the number below for more information. It's Dia de los Muertos on October 29th from 4 to 7. The YWCA on 6th Street will be hosting their annual celebration. There will be traditional cuisine and pan de muerto, or dead bread. There will also be arts and craft stations along with customary music and decorations. On October 30th, there will be a 5K, 10K run in Dayton, Indiana. Trophies will be given to the top three males and female finishers in both events in each age group. This run starts at 9.30 a.m. Call the number below for more information. Purdue Theater Department will be performing Amadeus on November 2nd through November 21st. It is a murder mystery as well as a celebration of the music of Mozart. The performance is recommended for mature audiences only. Shows are 7.30 p.m. with 2.30 p.m. shows also on Saturday and Sundays. That's all we have for you. Make sure to stop by some of the events. Have a fun and safe Halloween, everyone. We'll see you again next week. Everyone wants a chance to be in the limelight, and Fast Track is giving the opportunity to students just like you. Here's this week's 30 Seconds of Fame. 
Um, milk, because I drink a ton of that. Um, the internet, or I'd go crazy. And someone to hang out with, or it'd just get really boring. Um, well, I played the last two semesters, so I think it's a lot of fun. But I missed it this semester, so I didn't get signed up in time. And chocolate, anything with chocolate, any kind of chocolate. Whatever. Chocolate. Yum. Well, that's all we have for you this week on Fast Track. We'll see you next week, everyone.